I want to introduce you to my new best friend. And it just happens to be a little chicken named Scyther. We hatched out Scyther about four months ago and she was actually one of the eggs that we gathered here from our own little flock. Hatched her out. She was doing great. Nothing seemed out of the norm. Olive acre number two. That works. You can just now down. we're gonna go to sleep. Hi, sleepy baby. I can't keep my eyes open. I'm so tired. Oh, she woke up. There she is. He fell asleep in his hand. And then, a couple weeks later, we started to notice she was developing cross beak or scissor beak. Um, it doesn't happen right away. It often happens slowly over time, but there's nothing you can do to fix it. And it's often a genetic issue or something that happened during the hatching period. So there's not anything you can do. So what's cross beak? Well, it's when the bottom and top of the beak are misaligned so they'll be like this and so they can't grab food as easily they can't keep their beak trimmed on their own and they can't really clean themselves as well normally a lot of times cross beak chickens do just fine you have to occasionally trim down their beak make sure that uh, it's not too overgrown and make sure they have access to food in a way that they can eat now, in our case, our little crossbeak chick, Scyther, needs a little special care. Um, needs to be fed separately, at least once a day, with food that's been wet down. That way she can eat and have some time to get in all the nutrients she needs. And we've noticed huge improvements in her health and her growth and how she's feeling since doing that. But for there was but there was a little while there that we weren't sure if she was going to make it. We just weren't sure if she was going to be able to get any food at all. And we were really worried about her. Now you might think that, why in the world would somebody want to keep a chicken with a disability? Why would somebody just not put it to rest or put it down, put it out of its misery? Because that's what people do with chickens, right? Well, I think that's silly because if we look at the way that Scyther behaves and the way that she acts towards us, she's a real blessing. Hi, Scyther. <laughs> this is Scyther. She may have a little cross beak, but she's still perfect nonetheless. Hi, what's up? <laughs> she's so sweet. Oh gosh, she's on my back. She's got a pretty clear deformity. She gets to be a total mess everywhere because she's got mush on her face. But the other chickens come and clean her off. What do you think, Scyther? She's basically a little mini falcon. What are you doing? Don't poop on me, please. Oh, she's going on a little adventure. She is so friendly. She follows us around. She loves attention. She loves interaction. She likes to climb on you. Uh, she has a personality all of her own that we completely would have missed out on if we didn't do everything we could to help her thrive and live. Everybody has different opinions on farm animals and livestock and how much you care for them and help them get over illness and injury and disability and all of that. At the Sunshine Farm, we might be a little different. We're not going to treat our farm animals as if they're livestock, because they're not. They're more than that to us. They're companions. They're here to live the best life that they can, even if that means a little extra work on our part. 
they deserve it. All the others are jealous because she's in her crate getting food and uh, they don't get it. <laughs> they have plenty of food, let me assure you. Okay guys, come on, leave Scyther alone. Look at them, they're like, let us in there so we can finish it up. <laughs> Hello, Bean. You're so cute. We wouldn't want to leave an animal in pain and in misery, but she's happy, she's healthy, she's growing, she has her little flock, and her two best friends are silky hens. So we're going to be moving her and her two silky friends into our silky coop with our silky chickens. They're much more docile, they're much smaller, and I think that she'll be at home in their little coop. I think it's pretty awesome that something that could be viewed as negative or a bad thing is actually a blessing in a lot of ways. I was watching a video recently where somebody has a crossbeak chick and she mentioned that there's a real perk to having a chick with crossbeak or scissor beak. I hadn't even thought of it before. I'll link this video, but what she mentioned was that oftentimes if chickens get injured, you have to separate them out because their injuries can get pecked at by the other chickens. If you have a chicken with crossbeak, that chicken could be a companion to an injured chicken because it's not able to peck at wounds the same way and cause further damage. What a perk I never would have thought of. I encourage you, if you have a animal that has a birth defect or disability, try to look at the positive. I hope she is an encouragement that just because something might seem negative or like a disadvantage, it actually might be the best thing. Thank you.